children, the human raw material of each shattered nation's tomorrow. Each nation's preview in flesh and blood of its future. Pillars of the brave new world. Pillars of the brave new world. Ages from three to six and not even able to stand. Ricketts. Age nine. Mother tortured, father burned alive. Age 10, lost her senses when shells swept her Dutch village. Age eight, mother, father, sister, and brother killed all around him in deliberate shell fire because they refused to leave the shelter of a ravine, himself wounded. Age eight, she didn't know her strange new toy was a grenade. Ages 10 to 14. Age three, stunted and warped by nutritional deficiencies. Pillars of the brave new world, separated from parents whose names they don't even remember. Roaming like wolf packs, stealing, begging, education neglected, all normal influence gone, living in filth. And millions more like them, from which will emerge new leaders, new leaders who also will bear the burden of keeping the peace together. For here too, as well as in more fortunate nations, are makers of tomorrow. Will they be new Einsteins, Toscaninis, Manuel Quezons, Madame Curies, Sun Yat Sen's, or new Hitlers, Mussolini's, Tojo's? For the Axis had carefully contrived a legacy a legacy designed to drag down neighbor nations and their future into one common ruin, jeopardizing the next generation for the next round. For Germany in particular, it had long practice at ripping the entire fabric of a nation's life so that a state of enduring weakness could be assured, liberation or not. Liberated Lidice. The Czech village that once filled this entire valley and then was wiped so completely off the face of the earth that not even rubble remained. For all the women were sent to concentration camps of which these are among the surviving few. For all the men and boys of the village were shot and buried in one common grave. and all the little children sold for 50 marks apiece to various German families and perhaps lost forever. The effects of which will linger long after men like these, captured SS men who helped destroy Lidice, have been tried and condemned. And their big shot counterparts who created in a greater degree a design for destruction that made Lidice an ominous miniature of the design willed to all of civilization. A design detailed by Hitler himself in the last days of the Third Reich, as he stated in essence, We shall leave an inheritance of ruins, stone heaps, rats, epidemics, hunger and death, and thereby Western civilization shall decline. Rebirth through ruins. Twisting whole countries into economic cripples, weakness that will last for decades.
rebirth through stone heaps. Reducing human living to animal level. Rebirth through rats, epidemics. Nothing reduces population like plague. Rebirth through hunger. cannot be a sturdy one, and malnutrition leaves a lingering mark. Rebirth through death. Reducing and withering the mass population of all countries within reach so that the Germans and Japanese would remain the strongest physically and mentally, come what may. And thereby, civilization shall decline. Nor was this final strategy of rebirth through common ruin something special born of Adolf Hitler only. The German general staff, like the Jap general staff, were old hands at it. These were the words of General von Rundstedt talking before the Berlin Military Academy at war's outset. We Germans must number twice the population of our neighbors. Therefore, we shall be compelled to destroy one third of the population of all adjacent territories. We can best achieve this through systematic malnutrition. In the end, far superior to machine guns. Starvation works more effectively, especially among the young. Starvation works more effectively, especially among the young. Unquestionably, of all the victims in the program against whole populations, the most pitiful have been the most precious, the young. 